Welcome to Eastgate Support guys, this is Jacob. I'm doing a quick little video about BLDC tool and the VESC and the updates that have been implemented in firmware version 2.17. If you go to my website, vest.net.au or vest.support, the new download that will be there will be 2.17. Um, for Windows and OS 10 updates if we jump into BLDC tool right now The updates that we're going to receive are online firmware updates and Bluetooth low energy and Encoder because I've been working on Android and iOS apps the ability for me to transfer some of these things direct into BLDC current version of um, BLDC tool has ability to automatically detect and connect to a Bluetooth low energy device. So if you have a HM10 or HM11 chip, um, then the genuine ones will have a device name straight out of the box of HMSoft as listed right here. The connection will happen automatically. It will search for those devices, automatically connect. Now, our firmware is too old. Um, so I'm gonna jump into the firmware tab. At the moment, it's saying I'm on firmware 2.16. You can see that a few things have changed in this window. Um, we've got the normal path and the choose path to your firmware folder. And then we've got these tick boxes. Now these tick boxes are new. We've got 4.1. 1.10 to 4.1.12, 4.8 and 4.6 to 4.7. These are your hardware versions. This is what is written on your VESC and I've done a video that outlines this and the importance of this. One of the most consecutive email that I get from people, I'm talking 30 a week from my website, is people asking how to update their firmware because they're worried what file to use or they don't know what hardware version they have. It's really easy, it's written on your VESC. The latest ones are 4.10 to 4.12. If you've brought it in the last two or three months, that's what it's going to be. Otherwise, double check it anyway. Basically, you can tick one of these boxes and then online update. So we're gonna tick this and just watch down the bottom. It's downloading firmware and applying new firmware. And now it's writing it. Now what it's done, is it's tapped to the vesc.net.au server and it's chosen that firmware file that you ticked here. So whether it's 4.10, 4.8 or 4.6, it's automatically going to download that file for you and then apply it to the VES. There's no guesswork, um, but now we're on firmware um, 2.17, which is awesome. Now the next thing that we're going to do, um, because we've gone through firmware, is we're going to app configuration. I'm just going to tick here, read configuration, and change this to 9600 and write. Now this is for the Bluetooth device. Now go to Bluetooth and hit connect. Connecting to service, and then we've detected 2.17. Now if I got out of BLDC tool, go back into it, you see that nothing pops up, but eventually it'll say connecting to service because it's automatically going to detect that Bluetooth device. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to go into motor configuration and then FOC. I'm sorry, and then advanced. Now, what Benjamin Vetter has implemented, which is really important, you can see just then it's connecting to service connected. We should be able to read configuration which worked perfectly fine. Benjamin Vetter has updated things that are going to make the VESC more efficient. Basically, right now, we have an option for encoders. Encoders are really cool, guys. They're like whole sensors, but higher resolution. A whole sensor is three sensors that read magnet force inside of the motor, reading the different poles inside the motor, and it's then finding your position. This is an encoder. This is an AS5134. This is what's inside of the booster board. This is a two pole magnet. On the end of the booster board's shaft is a two pole magnet. Very thin, 
only about two mil away from the encoder. The encoder is reading the difference between the south and the north pole, so these two divides, and the line through it. It's reading the angle of that line down to a very high resolution. We're talking degrees. He's implemented into this version an encoder which is an AS5047 or 48. Now this encoder has a higher resolution than the one that's on the booster board. Here is the cap of the booster board. And you can see that little tiny chip there. That's the encoder. And these wires coming out are going to the speed controller. We open up this one and you can see that little piece there is a magnet and that's very close to the encoder and it's reading the position so that's giving that encoder a position of the motor this is really going to give you really high control in FOC now FOC control is already really good with startup but this is going to give it even smoother startup and you're going to be able to control these motors at very low speeds and that's basically it for now we've covered in this video BLDC tool Bluetooth low energy online firmware updates which is the most important update I think that's in this version and encoder which is the most revolutionary in this version you can't buy a speed controller from Hobby King or from Hobby Wing that has encoder support. Yeah, subscribe right there. My videos will be up there. You can go to my channel and subscribe. You can watch my playlist. Keep watching my videos. Um, the more videos that we watch, you watch, the more you comment, the more you like, um, the more YouTube's going to rank my videos, and it's going to be easier for other people to find this information. I'm going to do a video on how to set up the encoders and get them running. I'm going to do a video um, on a lot more things. Add comments on things that you want me to touch on. I've got a video that goes for an hour and a half on programming your VESC or electric skateboard. So I'm going to start doing little videos for you guys. Things that you can search and find the information straight away. So comment on this video. Get a list of things that you want me to be doing. I'll make those videos for you. I've got a set of Kegel wheels and orangutan in heats that I'll be giving away this month. So if you want those wheels, comment, subscribe, share on Facebook, share on Twitter, Pinterest. So stay tuned to my videos to see if you've won. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and have a good night.